Welcome everybody, this is Rob. Welcome to the Market Intelligence Report for Monday, August 29, 2022. Hope you're having a great day. You know, I'm looking at the chart right here and you're gonna see, I'll zoom in a little bit more on it for you uh, as I pull in there. You're gonna see this horizontal line. This is actually where we close right now. We've still got a few more minutes yet before my Omega charts catches up uh, on SPX. This blue rectangle is where the closing price is, that horizontal line. So we're, we're in the same ballpark right now of it. But I look at this black candle today, and it reminds me back of the movie Toy Story, to infinity and beyond, right? Where are we going, folks? What's happening here? Powell, open mouth, talks at Jackson Hole today, and what happens? Woo! I got traders texting me all day long. That's coming from my trading group, saying, what the heck is happening, right? Powell came out and opened his mouth up about, it's not looking good. We're going we're gonna to stay the course. We're going to fight inflation. We're not going to back down from this thing. History tells us this is the way it has to work. Uh, which means higher interest rates for longer periods of time, expectations of not until sometime later in 2023. Whose expectations? Some, some analysts out there that until later in 2023, before we start to see any easing uh, in the interest rate hikes. Good, bad, or indifferent, I have no idea, okay? All I know is we're down 130 points on the day today. 130 somewhat points to the downside. We are in a crushing blow. And if you look at what's happened, you look what transpired in the market just in the last couple of days. Let's grab a drawing tool. Good V bottom on our fib. We ran into the dreaded box of neutrality. We broke out. We ran all the way up to that 43, 25, 28 level. Great V top in there. We pulled back and then we just, we bounced. And what's happened folks? We broke through the eight on the close here. We closed below the 21, stayed below the 21. Wick went back up. Oh, we broke above everything except the 4,200, right? But we've got four things of contention there to deal with, right? First one being the, what we had, right, was the 21 moving average. Here we're sitting and we're looking at breaking the 21. Then we've got the black line, the 4181. Then we've got the 4192, it looks like 80 or 90. I can't really make out the exact number there. Close enough, okay? And then we have the 4,200 level. So one, two, we'll call it a confluence of the fib line three with the moving average. We'll still just give it a three, four, right? If you have a house, right? And this is your first floor and second floor, okay? And this is just ceiling down here, right? Well, if I want to break that ceiling, usually it's just one sheet of sheetrock. I get a hammer, I can break right through. Right now, what we had while we were stuck down here is we had sheetrock, plywood, durock, tile, aluminum, whatever you want to put up there, folks. We made it that much harder to get through, right? Last evening, my wife and I were sitting out in the yard. We had a fire up going in the back. Great night for it last night. And I looked at what was going on with the charts and we closed at like 41.99 on the S&P last night. And I did a video from in front of the fire pit saying, you know, be careful there, right? And what happened? We popped our head above the trees again. We got up to that 4,200 level and Powell came out and said, nah, breakouts suck. Period, the end. For me, they suck. I need a retracement, a retest and a bounce. I said this yesterday in, uh, when I did power option plays. I said it yesterday when I did, um, not yesterday power option plays, Tuesday power option plays. Yesterday when I did Benzinga's show, uh, they had me on as a guest trying to find out what the heck is going on with Jackson Hole and what I thought was going to come from it uh, or of it. And I say it all the time, folks. When you look at this chart, you've got to be knowledgeable, conscious of what's taking place, of what's happening in there. All right. And today's dramatic move based on what I've been saying. Listen, I'm no genius. I'm not an expert. I'm not a guru. I just know what to look for, the things to be conscious of, to be worried about. Listen, if, if you got a friend that keeps stealing from people and you know that Bill keeps stealing from everybody, you know it. Well, someone new comes in, they don't know Bill steals, right? Because they don't have any experience with it. I've got the experience with this. That's all it is. I, and I'm not picking up bills, okay? Uh, I've got the experience with this. I have an understanding of what the market tends to do. And it's critical that you do as well. You need to talk this out. Watching this intelligence report, this coach's update every single weekend will help you dramatically for next week. So with where we're set to close today, and we're there already, we closed, right? It's right there. 
all right it's it's already at the closing point we're not moving anywhere 40 57 66 uh, actually that's not a true number it's 40 50 yeah 40 57 66 okay so we're there but look at the day today i mean just a bloodletting and what happened all right yesterday we played with the 40 81 and we came back we whoops we went back up again didn't quite get there and we fell back we broke through and traders like yes we broke it we're going for the gusto we're gonna hit a home run out of this we're going all the way and today we opened flat we had this massive candle down right after the 10 o'clock report. We pushed back up again, just maybe a glimmer of hope. And then we said, nah, and we never stopped. Great day for the SPY to the downside. I'll tell you what, it was an amazing day uh, to the downside. All right, if we look here, let's bring this full screen. So there's the two candles, the big one down, the big one up, the breakdown here right you need one minute candles to help break it apart but as we broke down in here great trade we broke again retested and failed great trade yet again and yet again so we had one one two three four different moves inside of that and beyond right? we went well beyond the s4 on this right to the downside just five and plus 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 okay so <clears throat> let's go back and let's bring this current All right so a little bit concerning with what's going on right now what does that mean you've got to be focused on what happens this week you cannot take a, a polyander approach and just put your hands back and say well we'll, let, ah, we'll just watch and hang out and no you need to know what's going on and you're going to do that by focusing on it where are we to the upside, I need to break the 55 moving average, which has the confluence of the 4094.66 and the 4100 level. That's the only thing that gives me any confidence to the upside. If we push up to that level and fail, baby, baby bear, all the way, we're going to take bearish trades all day long. If we stay in that neutral zone between the 4200 and the 21-8 moving average, you can take call trades, you can take put trades, depending on where it is in that zone. You may build another blue zone in there. If we break out, I need the breakout. Folks, it's getting like an old record for me, right? Break the 4181. Break that 4192, right? Get past that level. Break the 4200. Close above. Retest the 4181 and bounce. I don't need it all the way down to 4181, but just get me down somewhere below that 4200 and bounce to show me that the bears tried and the bull said, nah, we're not letting it happen this time. Then we'll look at bullish trades. But right now, bear is on the menu for for the week folks if we stay like this and pal's message carries through the weekend we're going to be looking for bearish trades all right i hope that helps make it a profitable day stay focused on the quest to becoming a great trader keep crushing it and remember you're just one trade away take care everybody and i will see you next week bye for now folks thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the training now if you did be sure to give us a thumbs up and go ahead and hit the subscribe button right over here and hit the bell to keep up with all the latest trading content. And oh, did you know that we have a podcast? Supercharge your trading education with the Stock Market Millionaire, which you can find in the description down below. And while you're there, you can also find other amazing free trading resources that I've put together just for you.